the formidable robot. In 2011, Sony was planning on releasing their first cloud gaming service since the success of the PS3. The streaming service supported both PS2 and PS3 controllers and had some exclusive games. The new cloud gaming service was called, Sony PlayStation Extra. There were only 12 exclusive games pre-installed to go along with the cloud gaming service called, Midnight Club 2 Uncharted. It was pretty much the original Midnight Club 2, except the graphics were 5x sharper and there was first person view enabled. Gran Turismo Sports Prologue. Just like Gran Turismo 4, but with more cars. Cars 2, the video game, Gamma, Combat Explored, Need for Speed Underground 3, Shrek the 3rd, the video game, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Lamborghini GT, Destroy It Jack. Robotic, a 3D platformer that when it was mentioned to the Sony executives during the fourth month of development of the PlayStation Extra service in June of 2009, one of the employees laughed at the idea, reminding him of Crash Bandicoot. Tropico, Alala, and RPM Drag Racing. Sounds like a cool cloud gaming service, huh? Everything was going better than expected. Before they announced it as finished, Sony gave five-year subscriptions to the PlayStation Extra service to seven employees who had kids. They wanted the kids to test out the service and see how they liked it. One of the families, the Matobis, refused, but the other six were more than happy to test it out. Sony even promised to give them a free PS3 Slim afterwards. Two days later, one of the employee's ten-year-old son, who was named David, was playing Destroy It Jack. After he had gone to bed at 11 p.m., he woke up at random, and turned on his computer, a Windows 7 laptop. According to his parents, he played Call of Duty 4 till 2 in the night. A few minutes later, he walked into his parents' room. His eyes were widened, and he had an eerie smile. What is it Dave? Asked the father. The boy stood there with a big grin on his face. I am dead. Destroyer of worlds. He said in a raspy voice. The voice was distorted and muffled. Suddenly, the lights went out. The power was out all night long. In the morning, the mother went to wake their son for school. He wasn't there. Two years later in 2013, a farmer found his body in an abandoned Volkswagen Golf GTI 5th generation on a lake. His eyes were gouged out, he had words drawn onto his left hand saying, I am death. Similar occurrences happened to the other families. The Troys had their 13-year-old daughter, Michaela, disappear and come back home the next month. The Janets had their 17-year-old son kidnapped by some Imans and forced to join the Taliban. The Apples found their 5-year-old gone and found his body, hanged from a tree. The rest has yet to be uncovered. Sony was alarmed, and visited each of the families. The families returned the subscriptions and cancelled them. The Sony employees and programmers decided to play all the games to see if they had to deal with anything. All the exclusive games ran smoothly. Since the programmers created the games, they easily went through said games. However, during the final game with Destroy It Jack, something odd happened. The audio began to sound distorted. Suddenly the game paused. Jack began to smile. It went to a cutscene. The programmers and employees stared at each other in shock. The big shock was that when they were developing the game back in 2009, they did not remember it had ever contained a cutscene in the middle of the final boss. A crude 3D model of Jack sat down on a rock. He was looking at something glowing. The glowing stopped. It then cut to the body of Dr. Digital. The eyes were torn out, some hair was pulled out, he was bleeding from wrinkles, and his nose was jerked to the right. Jack began to cut open Digital's body and he put the body over his. Jack now looked like Dr. Digital. It then showed the same 3D model of Jack walking around. The Jack dressed up as Dr. Digital gave an evil smile. The programmers and employees shook in terror. The fact that Jack defeats his enemy, becomes Dr. Digital, and gets killed by another Jack, boggled their minds. It was a terrifying chain of suicide. All events after the cutscene finished are unknown. All that is known is that there was another cutscene afterwards. From the other room, people claimed to hear a man speaking in Korean in a Russian accent. When they came back in the room, they found everybody lying there dead with their eyes ripped out. 
however, two of the employees survived. One is blind and is confined in a wheelchair for life. He refuses to speak to anyone besides his family and close friends. The other employee is able to see, but he has never spoken about his experience. He is unable to be outside without someone with him, and is said to have recurring nightmares. All subscriptions to the service were said to be destroyed. This led to the cancellation of the Sony PlayStation Extra Cloud Gaming Service. In 2014, a 35-year-old avid video game bootlegger and data miner from Malaysia found a PlayStation Extra subscription. The eerie part is that he was able to play Destroy It Jack on his computer without signing up. A few days later, he was found dead in his closet, where he had hung himself. So this is just a warning to all people curious. Don't try to use the Sony PlayStation Extra service, unless you're either willing to risk your life or suffer from recurring nightmares and demons.